Hi guys, it's Kat. Welcome back to my channel. So, today I'm doing something a little different. And okay, the shortening my hair part is not different, but it's date night. So, I'm going to do a get ready with me. So, let's go. People talking like they really think they know me. People say they love me, but they really need to show me. My wrist say I'm coaching, but I thought that it was snowing. Fighting for the chain, but I will not let it control me. So, I've never done a get ready with me. I'm not the best makeup person, but I'm going to let you guys see what I do to get ready for my date with my husband so if you want to know how i get this look keep watching going to finish up my hair i'm not really trying to get it bone shaped because guys my hair is finally getting texture back as far as my curls i do have heat damage because i can't stay away from this but it is what it is and she's got a lot of body yes okay girl all right so we're gonna go ahead and just finish straightening this right quick and then we'll get to the get ready part well this is get ready too but you know you know what i mean and i'm just doing one pass because like i said i already have some heat damage on my ends and as I've already told you guys, I do like it when my hair is on the big side. You know, as far as when it's straight, I don't like bone straight hair. I just don't. I like it to be kind of full. So if you guys have been watching my videos, my hair straightening videos, you should already be able to tell a difference in the texture. Like it's a little more coarse because the thermal treatment is starting to wear off pretty good. I was nervous for a moment, y'all. I didn't know. I just didn't know if they was going to come back. one product in my hair like no leave-in conditioner no nothing um the only thing i used was this chi i think it's iron guard yep 44 iron guard that is the only thing i've sprayed in my hair and i would have showed you guys from the beginning but i didn't think i was gonna video but i said i think this would be fun i get ready with me so i hope you guys enjoy and So y'all, I went looking for my wax stick to, you know, lay down my flyaways, but I couldn't find it. So this was the next best thing, I guess, my um, olive oil grease. So I'm just gonna put this on, rub it in real good, take my hard brush, brush it down, and then I'm gonna put on my do-rag scarf to try to seal in those flyaways. and it is clearing up just a little bit but I have been using this lately on my skin it's specific beauty and these are advanced dark spot corrector pads can you see that um, my mom actually hooked me up with the whole set the um, 
moisturizer, the cleanser, um, these pads. Oh, thank you, Mama. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and just wipe my face down. I just cleaned it really well. serum and I'm just gonna squirt like two little squirts this stuff feels so good on my skin it smells pretty good too it's very smooth and I also have the intensive moisture face cream also, I use a pretty good bit of this. Well, I use it on a daily basis. This is some good stuff too. It's very moisturizing and a little bit goes a long way. All right. So, you're gonna see I'm very simple. Um, I don't do a whole lot. Let me go ahead and put on my deodorant so I don't forget. <laughs> don't want to forget deodorant. All right. So I'm trying to decide if I want to do foundation or if I am going, yeah, I'm going to do foundation for the sake of the video. So guys, I do have this Fenty Beauty. Sorry, it's a little messy, but it's in my foundation bag. So. Um, I'm not doing primer today. And I'm just gonna squirt a couple drops on my little um, blender here. that'll be enough I want to try that new Fenty foundation for dry skin so I'm just taking just the leftover I don't really just put it all over my forehead but I'm gonna take the leftover and put on my eyelids and as you can see my forehead lightly I don't use a whole lot and then on top of that just for a little highlight I'm going to go in with this NARS what color is this um, medium dark one biscuit so I'm going to go in with this and I'm just going to do it like this. All right. And on the same blender, I'm just going to spray some of my setting spray on here.
one more time. Y'all, this is gonna be so simple. I just wanted to have a little fun and just do this, something different, but this is gonna be like really fast, <laughs> okay? So, all right, so I am going to, where's my brush for my blush? Where is it at? Oh my goodness. Hold on. Y'all, because I get ready a lot at the gym, um, my blush is all broken up, but this is um, the palette by Anastasia. And it is, I would show you, but it is so cracked up, partially for me doing like that too, so. I just put on, a little bit. All right, so I have this cream eyeshadow by Mary Kay and it is bronze no it's iced cocoa so and I just take my little finger go on the inside like this well I have nails today so itty bitty nails and just do like this and I'm going to rub it on my eyelid as like a little base for my eyeshadow you can wear this by itself as well. If you put on a little more, it's really pretty even by itself. All right. Hmm, okay. Yeah, I hope this is too thick. I mean, water is drying like, I think I got toothpaste on my shirt. That is the worst. Oh my goodness. Okay. So now I am going to take my Too Faced uh, Sweet Sweet Peach palette. It looks like this. And I'm going to uh, go in with Caramelize and Puree. I mix those two together and I'm just gonna put that in my crease. Do the other eye. All right, that looks pretty good to me. What you think? I'm not a makeup guru, guys, so take it easy. <laughs> okay, and then I'm gonna go in with Bless Her Heart. It kind of looks like the color that I have on my shirt, so I'm just gonna go in with that color and I'm gonna put it on my lid. And then I'm just gonna blend it out. I didn't get any more eyeshadow. I'm just using what was already on there. And blending it out. I think that looks okay. Let me know in the comments, guys. I'm not a professional. I'm just doing this for fun, just to change it up a little bit. So now I'm going to do a wing. 
I do have this um, Ramel black eyeliner. It is my favorite. It does need to be sharpened, so I'm gonna do that right quick. All right, here we go. I hope you can see this. I'm not a professional. I'm just doing the best I can. Okay, I like it. All right, so here we go. She's coming together a little bit. All right, and then this is just a lip liner that I got from the beauty store. I think it's NK Makeup, 99 cents or 199, works great. Do I have my shirt on backwards? I mean, inside out? Yep, sure do. I think I'm gonna have to throw this in the washer right quick because I got toothpaste stains on it. Let me see. All right, guys, so I decided to take off that shirt and wash it because I believe I got toothpaste on it. It's really thin, it'll dry. And so, let me tell you what this is. This is a cooling bronzing stick. So, I'm gonna use it. Like, you can use it. <laughs> All right, so let's see. can try to look uniform. Hmm. It's not really showing up right now. It looks really pretty there. All right, that's pretty. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's pretty. All right, so let me hear if and finish up. Same thing with this J Matte um, lipstick, Beauty Store 2, $1.99. Mm, that's cute. So now I'm just going to put on this mascara. This is by Maybelline. Sensational Lash. This is my favorite mascara. I love it. really makes my lashes pop. she's done she is absolutely done and I told you simple still looks cute to me anyway leave your comments down below let me know only if you're not a professional let me know <laughs> but if you're a professional I'm sure you would say maybe otherwise so I'm not a professional but let me go get my shirt hopefully it's dry and I'll be back with my finished look, okay? Mm -hmm.